In a previous video, I showed you what Scrinter is and how to use it. If you missed that video, the link is in the description. But just to recap, Scrinter is a hybrid note taking and mind mapping web app. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use Scrinter to organize my daily tasks and projects. Before we get into all that, I just want to mention this video is sponsored by Scrinter and they have generously given us another discount code. So if you want to get your hands on Scrinter, don't forget to use the link in the description and the code TylerPots20 for your discount. So let's get started on this. So how I use Scrintle is I use it for various things from daily tasks to uh, quick notes, brainstorming, and also pr whole project um, organization. So let's start off by creating our first card, and we can click on this add and click a daily card. Now this would be something I use as my daily card. It gives me the date of when I created it, and then I can create a list of tasks I want to get through uh, today. So one of those is to record a video for Scrintle which is, is basically on its way. Um, we can get the video and then once that's done, I can just quickly easily go and strike that out just to make it easy for me to know which ones have been c completed, which is nice. Um, and then in here, we can add a bunch of other things. So this is more of just a daily task. If you want to organize your day, uh, normally I would come into a board on my desk and I would create a new day, uh, a day card and just essentially write down everything I want to get through in that day. And there you go. So you can see here, I have split my day into two different ways as well. Here you can see we have the priority tasks that I need to get done today, all of them in here, and then the like to do's as well, such as going to the gym, watching some One Piece, uh, taking my kids to the park, and obviously walking the dog. Now these are obviously just example ones. Normally you'd flesh this out. Maybe you could do a lot more with this. Um, and normally I would probably add in some uh, reminders just in case I forget. And then I can just close this, and then this is just sat here as my daily tasks and then if i need to know anything about it, i can just click open here and just have a look so i can go in and tick off another one uh, just by selecting it and obviously highlighting it which is really nice and simple this is just a simple daily once you're done with it you can actually archive the card as well now this doesn't mean it's deleted it's actually in my cards here and there you go, you can see we can open it from here. So once we're done with it for the day, we can actually just archive it so it's saved in here. And then when you come back again, let's say you want to remember what you did on uh, the 19th of May, for example, you can come in here and you can actually see that all of these um, have been ticked off. Um, and you're like, oh, I missed out, let's say, reply to user comments. So I can do that today. And it's a nice way to compare and see older uh, daily tasks. And you can see here that we have removed it. So if you accidentally remove something and you want to get back, you can actually come up here and search for it. And once you find it in here, you can actually drag it back into your desk so you can actually see it here. You can actually link this straight to another card as well by dragging and clicking like that, but I just don't want that one yet. So you can see here, you can link it straight by clicking, dragging and releasing. And then if we go in here, you can see there is links to the other cards, which we can actually delete both of these as well. So once you have, let's say your daily tasks, or for me, when I have my daily tasks, the next thing I can use Scrintle for is to quickly take notes. So if I'm in a meeting with a client or for example, my boss, I can be like, cool, let's take some notes here. We can give this a title. Let's just double click the, or give it a title and then double click it to open it. And we can say, um, meeting on the 19th of the 5th 2023 and we can say with a client name here um, just like this open this up and then I can come in here and I can just take whatever notes I would normally take for that meeting so I could say let's say they wanted a new project so they want a uh, a new web app uh, built in Vue.js, um, which is actually something I did the other day. Um, we just started a new project and I used Scrintle to take all my notes for that. Um, and we just set up a whole built-in Vue. It's actually, it's being built in Vue and it was a pretty cool project. But you can come in, you can take loads of notes. Uh, they want a carousel for this web app. They also want, let's say, a login uh, slash register system. And you can just go through here and add in a bunch of different notes in it and then once you have come through and you have created your notes, what I would then do is I would actually write this up into a project brief. Let's say we're actually going to take this and make it into a big project and we can then go into a new board. So if I go to my board, you can see I have none. So I could just create a new board and then name this board, let's say uh, client name 
and then the project name here. Uh, again, I organized this in my own way, so I'd have a nice little thing here. And then we can come in here, create a new card, uh, and let's just give this the overview. And then in here, I would write out the overview for the project. So we can just say in here, uh, uh, the overview for the project goes in here. Okay, and here you can see just an example of a sort of project we would do. So you'd start off with an overview and link to the different uh, elements you want. So you can see here we can get in our technologies. We can open up the design as well. And it'll just show us this here. You can see we can add images as examples of inspiration, um, the different fonts. You can add in a bunch of different just text just to uh, know what you're currently looking at and what you're wanting. Um, and this is a really nice way to keep organized and know what's supposed to be in your project. You can keep links in here if you wanted to to specific files such as the design file um, the technology stack all in here all of this is um, all easily done just in simple notes but using a mind mapping feature Honestly, there is so many use cases with screen all that you can go. I can go on all day for what we could be using this for. It's 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 just a great uh, a great tool to organize your daily your daily tasks, your work, to organize any sort of projects you've got going on, even just for education and learning. If you're trying to take notes, it's such a good note taking app. Uh, being able to just click a new card and give it a title, let's say two uh, D game development course. Uh, and then just go in here and just add in whatever notes you need to and also it's a modular system here by adding in different things like your heading your quote blocks your things it's so useful for when you're doing research and stuff there's so many different cool tools here um, and honestly it's, it's a really good tool so this is actually how all the things I really use it for currently um, I love to use it for taking notes um, and organizing my days another thing I love about screen note is their feedback system here so you see feedback.screenall.com and if you have any suggestions for things you want to see coming in you can actually come in here and vote other people's either bugs if you've got the same bug or if you would like some um basically other features to be added to this you can add in your own feature you can also see the trending features or either the most viewed features such as one of the ones i'm really looking forward to is checkbox lists um, checkbox list would be awesome obviously having an actual list you can tick off in there would make it so much cooler um, obviously a mobile app would be awesome and just loads of other different features offline all of these are all under consideration and things they're looking to build in the future so if you have any sort of feature or um, something you want to see in school you can actually submit here and they will come back and see you can see there's stuff which is in planned um, there's things that are in progress so you can see the offline offline mode is actually coming it's in progress which is awesome to know um and you can see there's a bunch of other different suggestions here which is great and you can add your own and that's what i love about this sort of community system there's so many awesome features to screen and you should definitely at least go check it out and give it a try use the links down below and obviously do not forget to use the discount code because you will save yourself some money and it is obviously a really cool tool to use so guys don't forget to check out the links in the description and smash that like button on this video hit that subscribe button and i will see you in the next one peace out